What's good out there guys? It's Roll Easy here and I'm back with another solo money glitch video. Now before I get into this glitch, I need to talk about what's been patched. Okay, today on Friday, uh, Rockstar went ahead and patched a couple things. Now what is patched is the solo nightclub dupe. All right, I posted that recently. That solo money glitch is patched as well as the super solo money glitch, which is the one that I posted yesterday. That's the one that had to do with the treasure hunt that you get the email for and basically had no requirements and you could just keep spamming the right D-pad to get $5,000 and 2,000 RP. All right, that has been patched as well. All right, as of now, there's no workaround for that, but there is a workaround for the nightclub dupe and it's the arcade dupe, which is what I'm about to show you right now. Okay, so shout out to the founders. They will be in the description as always. And what you're going to need for this glitch is I recommend to be in a free aim session. All right, go into an invite only, but make sure it's a free aim session and you'll see why. I'll be talking about that soon. Now, what you're going to need also is an arcade with the garage full of RH8s and that's to rinse and repeat. All right, just fill it up with RH8s. Now, you're going to need the MOC with the personal vehicle storage. I recommend an ISSI or a retro in there. Those sell for the most. All right. You're also going to make sure that your arcade basement door is open and you're going to see what I mean by that. I'll show you how to kind of set up to just open that every time for you. And uh, you don't need any custom plates. This is a merge glitch. Super safe to dupe and sell cars after. And uh, the other, the last thing is a CEO buzzard or a friend in another targeting mode. And that's to get around quicker. Okay. And you're, you're going to see what I mean if you don't know about this glitch just yet. So I'm going to go ahead and go into my bunker. And then I'm going to head to my MOC. Now remember, I said you either want a an ISSI in there. I have a Future Shock ISSI that sells for about 1.5 million. Or you can have an LG Retro Custom in there. Benny's car sells for about a million. Million. All right, it's like 900 something uh, K. So anyways, I'm going to grab my ISSI right here. I have my roll easy plate on it and I'm going to drive it out so that we get into that spot into the bunker. Okay. And uh, yeah, once we're over here inside the bunker, after we get past this loading screen, there we go. I'm going to park it over here so that you can conveniently see when the plate changes uh, as we get towards the end of the glitch here. Okay, so at this point, this is where you want to go ahead and use the job the job teleport trick, or you can start your CEO and grab your buzzard and fly to the location. Okay, those are your two options when it comes to going to the arcade and back to the bunker. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and press pause, and I'm going to start up one of these jobs. That one's pretty close to my arcade, so I'm going to select that one with square or x on xbox and once i've selected that this is when you can go ahead and join your friend in a different targeting mode you're going to want to accept the first alert and decline the second alert just like that okay i have a friend in assisted aim and i'm in free aim okay so once you've job teleported we're over here the card does not follow you so that's a good thing because that would ruin the glitch make sure you don't call out any personal vehicles to get around that's why i said it must be a ceo buzzard okay so now I'm going to walk into the garage of my arcade. I recommend walking in through the garage so that you can actually open up the basement door and you'll see what I mean. Now, once you've gone into the arcade with which you should have full of RH8s, all right, if you do want to rinse and repeat this over and over again, I think it's actually easier to rinse and repeat this one than it is for the nightclub. All right, it's quicker. So follow my path here. We're going to head up and uh, get out of the basement. And here we go. This is the door I was talking about. You want that to be open. Okay, so if you just go through the garage, you can just open that right up and uh, just keep following my path. We're going to go behind the bar. Okay, and the same way we were getting glitched at the bar in the nightclub, it's very similar to that. There's just a couple little changes that have happened. So go behind the bar, press right D-pad to serve drinks. Once you're in the state, press pause, go to the online tab, and I'm going to show you some stuff here. Okay, we're going to do... We're going to do cruise first. Okay. This is how we're going to join somebody in a different targeting mode. So we're going to go to cruise leaderboard, IGN and view members. Okay. Once you're here, you can actually join people that aren't on your friends list. And remember we're in free aim. So look for kind of a funny name here. Hit join game. If you think they're an assisted aim, I thought this guy was, it was a complete gamble. I'm going to go ahead and accept the first alert and hopefully decline the second alert. If I get a targeting mode, I think I will. So yeah, there we go. Accept the first alert, decline the second, go ahead and press pause again. 
Now go to the online tab. If you look, jobs are still grayed out for us. This is how we activate them. Go, go to Criminal Enterprise Starter Pack, back out of it, go back up to jobs, and now we can actually play jobs. So go to play jobs, Rockstar created, and you want to start up the first job that you see. All right, anyone will work, but start up the first one. You should get this job is no longer available alert. That's what you're going to accept. Now you're in a completely frozen state. Press pause. Once you press pause, we're going to kind of, you know, change some stuff up here real soon here. Go to purchase shark cards and press pause very quickly. So hit X on purchase shark cards and then pause. And you should get into this state. Now we're still frozen, but we can move our camera around. All right. We just can't actually move the guy's body around. So press pause again. Go to the online tab. And this is how we get unstuck now. Okay. Go to criminal enterprise starter pack. Scroll down over to weapons. Okay. Hit the hit the marksman rifle link right there. And then move the cursor around this guy's nose. All right. Or to his nose right there. And once you hit X, that will unfreeze you. Now, it only unfreezes you for about 10 seconds. So you want to make sure that you kind of make those 10 seconds count and move quickly. All right, go into the manager's office, take the same route you took to get in there, and you want to get to the cars. Okay, as you can see right here, we're still dragging the menu in the top left. All right, that's the whole point of this. So do not hit right D-pad at any point. You want to get unfrozen the same way we did when we were behind the bar. Click on the guy's nose, and there we go. We can run. All right, so remember, this is only 10 seconds. And so you want to make sure you make it all count, run as fast as you can, take the same route, know the arcade well. All right. I'm still dragging the menu in the top left. That's good. Remember, do not hit right D-pad or anything on the D-pad I'd recommend at any point. And select weapons, marksman rifle, tap the guy's nose, and we're unfrozen. Now you should be able to get to your car from here. I was a little confused. Uh, still pretty new to this arcade stuff. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and walk around to the car over here and I'll get unfrozen or I'll get frozen. And this is where I'm going to explain what you do here. This is the part where there's a bit of timing. Okay. What you want to do is get into the car and right before your butt touches the seat, you want to press right D pad and then tap on the gas. All right. Until you see the black screen. Those are the steps. Okay. So first we need to get unfrozen. Now I'm going to go ahead and select weapons, marksman rifle, click on the guy's nose and it'll get me unfrozen and I can start this part. Okay. So here we go. I'm going to press triangle and once he's about to get in and right D pad. All right. Invisible. I'm tapping the gas at the, at the very moment that he went invisible and I stop on the black screen. If done correctly, you'll spawn like that. All right. With, with the car, it'll disappear and then you're just on foot. The way you know you didn't hit it is if you spawned outside on foot without the car, okay? So you'd have to go get re-glitched out at the bar. Now, at this point, I'm going to use the job teleport trick nice and quick, all right? Nice and simple. I'm going to load into the job, and once I start loading in a little bit more, there we go. I'm going to join my friend in a different targeting mode, accept the first alert, and decline the second. If you're not doing that, remember, call out a CEO buzzard. Do not call out a personal vehicle, okay? So now that we've job teleported, I'm going to run over to the bunker where we had the ISI parked. And this is this is the end of the glitch, basically. All right. So here we go. I'm going to get over to the bunker and just remember, don't call out any personal vehicles at all. OK, the only reason that this still works is because the ISI is just sitting in the bunker in that weird state. All right. It's not in a personal storage, but it's in an interior. All right. So we're loading in now. The ISI is still here. And you see the plate it says roll easy on it. Once I get into the car, that should all change. There we go. That's the plate from the RH8 that I glitched out in the arcade. Now, once you drive over to the MOC, hit right D-pad, you should get the full alert. That's good. That means that the one you're in right now is a dupe. Okay. The other one went over to the arcade where the RH8 was. And that's it. All right. That's the glitch right there. So this AC sells for about 1.5 million and I can go get that money or just keep duping. Remember, you if you have a bunch of our RH8s in the arcade, like I said to do in the beginning of the video, all you got to do is park this thing in that same spot, job teleport back, and you guys know the rest. All right? So I hope you enjoy this glitch. That's going to be it for me. My name is Roll Easy. Subscribe to the channel. Like my videos if you actually appreciate them. I love making tutorials, and I'm going to come out with some more interesting stuff here in the next few days. All right? Peace out and have a good one.